Welcome sa sip9.com. This video ay mag-aaral tayo about sets, no? Ano ba yung ibig sabihin ng set? So, a set is a collection, no? A collection. Collection of all objects that satisfy or which which satisfy a certain condition. Okay? So, pag may nasasatisfy siya na certain condition, at malinaw na kung alin yung kasama doon sa set na yun, or hindi kasama, then, uh, yun, pwede nating masasabi na set yun. So, for example, no? Example. We have the set of set of positive divisors of six. Ano ba yung mga divisors of six, di ba? Mga divisors of six ay uh, one. Meron tayong two. Meron tayong three. At meron tayong six. Na ngayon kung ilalagay natin sa set notation, ang pinaka may dalamang popular na ginagamit sa set notation yun yung tatawag natin na um, roster method. Ang roster method, ganito siya. Ililista natin yung mga members ng set. No? Yung 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 6. Sorry. 1, 2, 3, 6. At kasama niya yung uh, ipapaloob natin siya sa braces. No? Okay? So, uh, ito ay uh, set containing the 1, 2, 3, 6. No? Minsan, yung set ay pinapangalanan din natin siya no, ng, ng isang malaking letter. So, for example, uh, we want to name this D. No? So, D is equal to no, the, this set. Of course, um, obviously, from this, uh, from the condition, I, um, we, can, we can, of course, rearrange the member members, no? Doesn't matter the order. So, pwede mauna yung 6, pwede mauna yung 3, no? So, the order doesn't matter. Uh, also, pwede rin natin siyang sabihin, no? Yun, na uh, in set notation, pwede rin natin siyang uh, sabihin na uh, ilagay lang natin dun sa loob yung condition dito, no? So, we have the set of positive divisors of 6. So, pwede siya. Ganyan lang siya. At wala naman problema. Tama naman yan, no? A more formal is that pwede natin siyang gawing D equals X, no? Such that X is a positive divisor of 6. So, dito kung makikita ninyo na uh, yung X, yung may bar na nagsiseparate sa dalawang X, ang basa natin dyan is such that. So, Ang basa natin, dun sa pinaka-last uh, notation, x such that uh, x is a positive is a uh, positive divisor of, of 6. No? So, ibig sabihin, x can take can take any of these values. No? Okay? So, that's one example. Another example is, uh, for example, Uh, set of positive set of positive real numbers real numbers now hindi natin malilist yan no? kasi there are infinitely many real numbers tsaka hindi natin may order so pwede tayo lang sa rule method no so by the way, this one is, tawag natin yun is roster. No? Yung nililista natin. And these two, no? ang tawag natin sa mga ito ay rule method. No? So, dito, uh, pwede ta minsan, of course, yung rule, pwede natin siyang nakasentence or pwede siya minsan na symbols. No? For example, if we if, uh, we want R, no? if we represent the set of real number as R plus, no? For example. So, pwede natin siyang uh, 
uh, lagyan ng x no this this uh, notation we, we will use this in uh, in the following discussions no kasi ito naman yung format x such that x is is greater than 0 ito ang basa dito such that that's a set notation so x uh, such that x is greater than 0 so pwede na yan pwede namang symbol no? okay so example 3 I, um, for example, a set of set of again na to, set of prime numbers. Ano ba yung mga prime numbers? Less than ten. Familiar ba kayo sa prime numbers? So yun yung mga uh, pwede nyo naman i-look up na lang yun sa Wikipedia. No? So, yung prime numbers, siya yung mga numbers na uh, only divided by, can only be divided by 1 and itself. No? So, for example, if we set, uh, if we name P, if we name, name the set of prime numbers less than 10 BP, then P is equal to, ano may yung prime numbers less than 10? We have 2, we have 3, we have 5, and we have 7. So, ito yung mga prime numbers na less than 10. Okay? So, ang tawag pala natin dun sa mga members ng set, for example, yung 2, 3, 5, 7. Tawag natin dyan ay element of the set. No? So, a member a member no? hindi masyadong formal itong ating definition of a set is called an element of the set. So, ibig sabihin, if the member belongs to a set, then we call it an element of the set. Okay? So, so, ang element, ang symbol niya, ganyan. So, parang ganyan. Okay? So, this is a symbol for element. Element. So, paano siya ginagamit? Pag sinabi mong is, uh, 2, 2 is an element of P, no? So, so pwede mo sabihin na 2 is an element of P. Ibig sabihin, 2 is, or 2 belongs to the set P, no? So, dito, walang, walang 1. So, pwede mo sabihin not an element. So, 1 is not an element of P. So, pag not an element, nilalagyan lang natin sa parang, parang slash, forward slash, no? 1 is not an element of P. So, sabihin, yung, uh, yung set P natin dito sa taas does not contain 1. Wala yung 1. Okay? So, I think, yan lang muna yung pag-aaralan natin dito sa sa ano na to, no, sa video na to. And, uh, uh, siguro by uh, yung next video natin, we will have more examples on sets. Maraming salamat and see you in the next example.